Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is all fun and packs right now in FIFA 23, and there's an absolutely insane SBC that's coming today that'll be another opportunity for us to rinse all of this fodder that we have, the unlimited amount of fodder right now, into another great player SBC. So we're going to talk about that and everything that's moving on the market and what to be grinding right now in this game. Once again, if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Yesterday's content was not super crazy, but there's actually a couple new SBCs that might be nice crafting into. We're going to go straight into SBCs. And of course, we have to talk about the Sydney Govu with absolutely mental stats. 99 pace, dribbling, and shooting. 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. And we're talking 99s, guys. Look at that. All 99s in the shooting category, almost all 99s in the dribbling category. And of course maxed out pace what a card i have not used govu cards a ton this year I used his world cup for a little bit some people i know didn't enjoy his cards earlier on his base hero they said it was not meta enough this one has to be meta i mean look at those stats that is insane with a five star four star Coming in at around 742,000 coins, it seems a little expensive out of pocket. But of course, as you know right now, this price is actually really decent because nine squads, you can just craft it super easy from the 84 times 10 unlimited repeatable. Yes, there's 92 rated squads in here, guys. But 92 rated squads right now in this game cost like 100,000 coins because 94s, 95s, uh, are all like literally 11,000 coins. 95s are actually about 16k, but everything 94 and below is still at discard value. So it's so cheap actually to even buy these cards off the market if you're going to be doing it that way. Such a great SBC with a, a card for insane stats and just a fun one right now to be crafting and a place to put duplicate fodder into. Let's be honest, if any of you guys are just grinding the menus right now, which is the best thing to be doing, just having so much fun crafting with the 84 times 10 uh, unlimited, just day after day after day, pack after pack after pack, that is one of the places where you can put your fodder right now. Now, not only that, and actually before we go into that a little bit further, just a word of warning about this 84 times 10, you can actually get SBC banned, guys. If you do the SBC too many times in a certain short time period, you can actually, um, I'm sure some of you guys have experienced this if you've been grinding because the menu grind is so fun. When you go to submit the SBC, you'll submit it and it'll say like there's an error communicating with the servers. It won't let you submit the SBC. If you get that, that means it's kind of like an SBC ban. It just means you can actually complete SBCs because EA is viewing your account as somebody who's grinded the game too much, I guess. And I think the restrictions for that are set way too low than what they actually should be. Uh, because let's be honest, as long as you're not a bot, you shouldn't be hitting those restrictions, in my opinion. But if any of you guys have run into that problem, since I know a ton of us are grinding the game right now and just rinsing into these upgrade packs, that is kind of the situation there. Now, speaking of rinsing, two more icon upgrades came out yesterday that if you have extra fodder, you can just put them right back into these as well. At least have a chance at packing a Trophy Titans R9. Once again, maybe a Shapeshifters Pele or Henri out of both of these player picks. I would focus on the 92 plus though. It's actually cheaper than 90 plus. Um, it's a pack, not a player pick, but it's such a small player pool and it's such an easy SBC to do, guys. I mean, the SBC cost on Footbin is 130,000 coins and you guys know that's just super duper easy right now to complete so we have two icon player picks not that we love the icon player pick but at least the 92 attacker icon upgrade is just such a small player pool you could get absolutely insane cards from it now i forgot to mention as well with the govu that was dropped yesterday a lot of people are doing this card, and I think a lot of people really like it because of, number one, all the 99 stats inside of it. Govu's, like, first insanely cracked special card of the year. Um, of course, you take a look at the market. A lot of strikers and center forwards and center attacking mids are down. Griezmann from 740k all the way to 500,000 coins where he is now. Same thing with Di Natale. I mean, the only cards that basically have any value in this market still are footies cards, but a lot of those strikers and attackers went down in price yesterday, and that just is another thing to show you that people are excited for this go for anything. Who wouldn't be? Look at those stats. Like, that is an absolutely insane, insane card. Now, we had a little bit of XP as well. If you did the, um, the kit, the home of XP kit, there was some more XP dropped there yesterday, and I want to talk about the store for a bit because like we were hoping to see the 400k pack is back the super ultimate pack with 250 players inside of it guys look at the odds on this pack a 100 chance of a team of the season player they're in like basically every pack right now anyway a 77 chance of a shapeshifter 
and uh, a 73% chance of a shapeshifter icon. Like, these are the craziest pack odds I think I've ever seen inside of a pack. But with the cards that are in best of batch three, the footiest cards that are in packs right now, and of course, this being such a massive pack, like, I don't think there's ever been a better pack to open in this door, if I'm being completely honest. At least a better untradeable pack, because you're going to be getting so many high rates back from this. I would have to imagine that people are opening these. I haven't seen any open, but I'm definitely going to open this for myself this week, just because. Why not? Uh, I have to imagine that people are getting somewhere between like 50 or more special cards, just because of so many special cards being in packs. That just seems like a crazy fun pack to open with coins at this stage of the game. Uh, and of course, let this be your daily reminder. Make sure you're doing the daily login SBC. Every day you watch the YouTube video, come back the next day, do the SBC. It's your reminder, all right? Make sure you get that done because we cannot miss any of the days to be able to get that final 85 times 10 group reward. So make sure you do that. It's really easy once again. Now let's talk about today on Sunday because yesterday was pretty quiet. I'm not expecting today to be super crazy, but we know one of the SBCs is coming, guys, right? We have seen it already in objectives. It's not a surprise. Cover star Del Piero. One of the two cover star icons that was leaked last week, Zidane and Del Piero. We're getting this card today, guys. And of course, his lone SBC is for XP. So make sure you get that one done. But this is somewhat of a card. This is a guess or a prediction of the kind of card we could be looking at today. Now, it should be a really cracked item, but when I compare this to the Govu that we just had, is it really worth it to do this and Govu? I mean, the only thing that Del Piero is probably going to have that would definitely be better than Govu is the 5-star five 5-star five because Del Piero's Trophy Titans card is 5-star five 5-star, five but he's probably not going to have 99 pace shooting or dribbling like Govu has. So it just kind of comes down to preference, whether you would like to have the cover star Del Piero or whether you like to have the Govu. I would I would not necessarily say that you have to get both of them done. But once again, if you guys are just enjoying the menus right now and the opportunity to try to pack everything and anything right now that is in packs with the 84 times 10, this is a Del Piero that you're going to be able to craft today for basically free once again right we say free because it's in quotes because once you do 184 times 10 you can just keep keep rinsing and repeating and keeping that going like we talked about a lot in yesterday's video it is the best menu grind we have had as of footies and maybe for the entire year it's just absolutely insane so that del piero is definitely coming out today as an sbc other than that we could have an 83 times 100 guys that's another sbc that's been added to the code the 82 times 100 expired yesterday. It didn't come back. The 83 times 100 is in the code as well. Maybe EA up the ante a little bit and drop that one today. Who knows? Um, I doubt we get two player SBCs, but it's possible. Del Piero is probably going to be the focus of today. And then maybe some other sort of upgrade pack like the 83 times 100 or maybe something else in there as well. But um, a lot of our SBCs that we're hitting right now, like the 8410, the five times repeatable, 85 times 10. I have not done all five of mine today. I have to do that. Guys, the grind right now is just unmatched. You don't even need me to tell you this, but it's so good. I do want to answer some questions though. Some of you guys were asking me like, Nate, did they nerf the 84 times 10? Did it actually get worse? And from the ones that I opened yesterday, I probably opened like three or four. Um, I'm going to open 85 times 10 right now. But from the ones that I opened, they were still insane. Like I packed Musiala, Kane, Sun in one pack. Um, I'm getting team of the seasons in every single pack. I will remind you and I will say that some of these, they're packs, guys, right? Some of them will be not so great. Some of them will have some players in them that, you know, a lot of gold and you're like, oh, that was disappointing. But other ones are going to be insane. We get Dudek, we get Demer, like that to me, like that's that's awesome. Like look at all those Tots cards. That's kind of normal for an 85 times 10 right now. So we're going to go back, put some of those in Zidane and keep crafting. And that is just, again, the grind of this game right now that is so much fun. I don't think the 84 times 10 got worse, but the word of warning that I would say with this and just be careful with is, once again, this SBC goes away on Monday. Maybe EA know that it's just too good right now and that people are doing this SBC on repeat, unlimited, getting basically unlimited fodder, right? Maybe they'll take it away. I hope they don't. Um, but, you know, maybe just get it while the eating's good this weekend. Do the 84 times 10 as many times as you can. Spam them, open them. Do the SBCs that you want to craft. If you have the time to put in this weekend, might be worth putting in the time now because I would like to think that EA would bring it back, but if they don't, you know, that's a possibility. The SBCs are both going away. So that's just kind of something to think about right there. I wouldn't be super worried, but just something to kind of keep on your mind. If you have the time, I would grind it out. Now let's talk about 
SBC fodder a little bit as well. Yesterday, we were really on investing in the 81s to the 84s. And I'm glad that we talked about it because those have kept rising. Now, some of them, they get low in the nighttime, you know, wake up early morning on Sunday today, watch during squad battle rewards specifically, there might be an opportunity to pick some more of them up. 84s are the ones that are not moving the most, but 81s, 82s, and 83s continue to fluctuate, continue to move. Um, and yesterday, they just kind of stayed the same price, had some peaks and valleys in there. Uh, a lot of them just kind of slowly crept upwards in price though, right? 83s on Friday were around 1.5 to 1.6K, and they're now approaching 2.2. A lot of them were 2.5K during the day yesterday. 81s and 82s, I think, are maybe even seeing a bigger increase from where they were Friday towards now. Uh, I mean, these were a thousand coins on Friday. And then Cramrich yesterday was between a thousand to 1700. And now, I mean, almost 2000 coins besides one undercut there. So it's really the 81s and the 82s guys that I think are seeing the biggest spikes. And I mean, right now as well, what have we talked about? We have got the weekend league rewards that people are still playing right now. They're playing with all the fun footies cards and all of the uh, insane icon SBCs they've been able to craft right now. That's supplying the market with these cards tradable at the moment. I would have to imagine that after the weekend, like always, after the weekend is over and you don't have as much tradable supply, you're going to start to see that lower tier fodder continue to move up in price just as people will have to go and keep buying cards to do these SBCs. I know I just looked at Kramrich. Yeah, he's not going to be there. Coutinho, maybe. Um, so... Yeah, if you need 81s, 82s, it is the end game as well. So I would just tell you to buy them, put them in the club, get what you need to have the fun that you need to have right now. It is just such a fun grind in this game. I know I've said it a million times, but it's just freaking amazing right now. Now, what's not amazing is if you've owned any tradable cards on the market, even footies cards, guys. Um, I was watching Rashford and Ginola a little bit yesterday. And um, whether it's the cards that are in packs for best of batch three or any footies cards, they're just down bad. Ginola was 1.6 mil, went all the way down to 900K, went back up to like 1.05, uh, but is now back down in the low 900s. Rashford's under a million coins as well. Um, Araujo's 250K. Ali Son is 63,000 coins. You look at R9 Trophy Titans. I'm pretty sure he was like, what, 2.5 still yesterday? 2.5 million coins. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's where he was. He went all the way to 1.7, 1.8 mil where he is now. These cards that are in packs just keep dropping. The only ones that are semi-safe are the ones that are out of packs. If you notice, Lucio is still 1.7 million coins. Um, Mbappe is still 8.3 mil. You know, Alaba is still 675. You know, we talked about the strikers getting hurt. You know, Griezmann being down in price. Dean Natale being down in price. I think Jesus definitely dropped off in price. 500K seems very low for him. He's actually 550 now. These guys fluctuate. Again, as we said in yesterday's video, he was 465. Get on the footies cards. If you want to trade and try to make some coins right now anywhere on this game, out of packs footies would be the way to go with it. Gomez is back to 800 and Captavia is back to 560. Yeah, so some of those cards are moving. But uh, for sure, be careful with everything and anything right now, especially if it's in packs. It is getting absolutely dusted. So once again, if you're enjoying the craft on this game right now, keep enjoying it. Enjoy it for the weekend for what we have it and, and where it is. Keep doing the daily bronze, silver, gold upgrades, guys. Craft into that crafting upgrade. This footies crafting upgrade is so massive. I'm starting to run out of like 80s and 81s. I just need to go in here and sort by uh, gold low to high and start putting in my 75s into this so that I can get myself some 81s, 82s, and 83s. And uh, maybe, you know, hit a couple special cards as well from an 80 plus triple that would enable me to keep crafting through all of the 84 and 85 times 10s. So I'm going to build up some more 85 times 10s and we're going to be streaming today, hopefully around the content time as close as I can get on uh, around then. And uh, yeah, we're going to be spamming through much more of these upgrade packs. I got to finish the, the Zidane SBC. And uh, yeah, it's just fun to hang out on the menus. The menu grinds insane right now. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. We'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.